Hello, Best Friend Books community. I wanted to share another one of the poems that's going to be part of our collection, The Thought Collector, which will be coming out this fall and will uh, be poems that start social emotional conversations, really for all ages, uh, that might be able to happen at different levels, depending on the age that of the of the people that you're interacting with, whether they're children, young children, whether they're a little bit older in junior high or high school, or whether they're adults and you're doing an adult book study. So hopefully these poems all have something to speak to um, at all ages. And this one is called Patch of Sky. And it is about the difference between wants and needs and really coming to a richer understanding at different points in your life of what you really need and versus what you would like. Uh, so this is called A Patch of Sky. The list of things I want in life could fill a book, or maybe five. Pops and snacks from every store, books and music, games and more. I want to see my favorite shows and get out of school because of snow. I want to travel far and wide on a fuzzy llama I can ride. I want a castle with a moat and 10 or 20 pygmy goats. I want delicious foods to savor and jelly beans of every flavor. I want stilts to walk around my block and a hand carved German cuckoo clock, a pot of gold and the rainbow too, and a robot that does what I tell it to. I want for things to go my way. I want a chance to have my say. To, I want folks to think the same as me and to see things just the way I see. But what I want and what I need are very different things indeed. Some things are nice to have, no doubt, but others I can live without. I don't need toys and snacks and cash or a fire-breathing dragon to guard my stash. I don't need fortune. I don't need fame. I don't need for you to know my name. I may not be rich and I may not be strong, but I have all I need to get along. I have my own thoughts. I have a voice. I use my head and my heart to make a choice. So I don't need much to live my life to keep me happy and free from strife. A brain to think with, a heart to feel, a world to imagine and then make real. Plenty of sleep and time to play, something to eat and drink each day, a coat or two to keep me warm, four walls to keep me safe from harm, a blanket to cuddle in on my bed, a roof to keep the rain off my head, some caring arms to hold me tight, Someone I love to kiss goodnight, a friend to talk to when I feel low, and a patch of sky where I can grow. That's one of my favorite poems that I've written. Uh, it was one of our earliest poems that we, we put down and we originally intended as a uh, picture book. And then we really, there have been a number of poems um, that we have looked at in terms of making a picture book and really decided that the concept behind them is one maybe for just a little bit older student. Um, and so that's the purpose of our book, The Thought Collector, is a series of poems that we really felt like needed a little bit older audience than our picture books. And so this will be aimed at grades three and uh, grades three and above, but even really more into the fifth, sixth uh, middle school ages where you can really having have start having some pretty complex conversations about social emotional topics. And I always think the want versus need is an interesting conversation to have with kids as they grow and as they change and even with adults, um, because we're always kind of refining what it is we truly need. At 55 years old, I'm still trying to refine what is it that I want from something that I really need. And so I think that's a really rich area for conversation. I want to uh, also make you aware that as we uh, put together this book, I'll also be putting together discussion guides and activities, just like I have done for the picture books that we've published that will be great resources for teachers to use, for instance, in a language arts class or for in a life skills class or um, even study halls. I know a lot of teachers uh, have structured activities that they're supposed to do with students uh, who don't have things to work on in study halls. So these would be uh, good discussion starters, if nothing else. Um, it might be great for book studies, for community groups, uh, just for, adults to help get to know each other a little bit better, uh, which we can all use more of. So I hope you enjoyed A Patch of Sky. It's one of the 40 
poems that will be in our collection, The Thought Collector, that will be coming this fall, just in time to purchase for the holidays. Thanks. Have a great day.